मिशोंग मोका असानी सितरंग मैंडोज ऑल दी साइक्लोन्स हैव वन थिंग इन कॉमन दे ऑल ओरिजिनेटेड इन द बे ऑफ बेंगाल विद इन द पास टू ईयर्स कॉजिंग है But why is it that most of the cyclones originate and make a landfall on the eastern side and the western side remains relatively calm? Well, politics has got nothing to do with it. It's pure science. Recently, Mishong has caused damage to life and property in the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh and neighboring Tamil Nadu state. From turning streets into rivers to making countless people homeless, these cyclones have compelled the administration to take extreme steps. A thorough look at the history of cyclone shows a high frequency of cyclone in the Bay of Bengal region. According to the National Cyclone Risk Mitigation Project data, around 58% of the cyclones formed in the Bay of Bengal make landfall on the eastern coast, whereas the percentage is as low as 25% in the case of Arabian Sea. And as per some reports, Bay of Bengal also holds the title of causing 80% of the world's cyclone-related deaths. Now let's address the question Why do all these cyclones form on the Bay of Bengal? Now to answer that first let's talk about the tropical cyclones. What are they and what are the conditions that allow these tropical cyclones to form? A tropical cyclone often known as hurricane or typhoon is a powerful swirling storm that forms over warm ocean waters. It begins as a cluster of thunderstorm and if the sea's surface temperature is sufficiently warm it absorbs heat and moisture causing the air to rise and create a low pressure system. They are characterized by a spiral formation and in the northern hemisphere it's anticlockwise. The Bay of Bengal is particularly vulnerable to tropical cyclones because it has a wide expanse of shallow water on the Arabian Sea. So there is more heat transfer from the water to the air. This increases the potential for moisture and instability which are necessary ingredients for cyclone formation. The geometry of the Bay of Bengal amplifies wind speeds as they funnel into the bay. This increases the destructive potential of any cyclone that forms here. The Bay of Bengal is surrounded by land on three sides, which provide a source of additional moisture and stability. The Bay of Bengal has a much larger area than the other bodies of water in the region, so storms can dissipate more easily. Consistent rainfall and fresh water inflow from rivers prevent warm surface water from mixing with cooler layers, creating ideal conditions for depressions, meaning The Arabian Sea's stronger winds and intermittent fresh water supply facilitate heat dissipation allowing warm and cool water to mix during the overall temperature. As a result, the Bay of Bengal is one of the most active areas for tropical cyclone formation in the world. This is to be noted that not all cyclones originate in the Bay of Bengal. Some form elsewhere like in the Pacific Ocean and move towards this basin. Cyclones tend to lose strength when they encounter large land masses. However the Bay of Bengal lacks significant land masses between the Pacific allowing cyclonic winds to easily enter and intensify the region. High water and air temperature are the prerequisite for any cyclone formation and this is mostly the case during summers. However, Bay of Bengal that's not the case. Bay of Bengal causes cyclones to happen before the monsoon and after the monsoon because the water temperature on the Bay of Bengal remains relatively warm throughout the year.